If you've been live streaming your gaming sessions to TikTok, I bet you've been using TikTok Live Studio, which to be honest is the easiest way to run a custom stream to TikTok. But I know not everyone wants to use their software. Many of you guys just want to use OBS Studio to get full control over the live stream when pushing it to TikTok. So that's what I'm here to show you how to do today. The first thing you guys are gonna need to have set up is a vertical canvas within your OBS studio. Right now, mine is just in horizontal format, but if I wanted to change it, I just need to go to my settings, and then I can go to video, and within here, I can set my base and output canvas resolutions to be 1080 by 1920, as you can see, right here then i can select apply and then okay and you'll see that my canvas is now vertical where i can then add my gameplay capture card and even face cam to the mix here now for those of you who want to stream in horizontal and vertical at the same time keep this canvas in 1080p because we're going to add a separate vertical output to our obs studio project we're going to want to head over to atom.tv Go to the left side here to the products tab and then go to vertical. This is where you can download their vertical plugin for OBS Studio completely for free. There's no catches at all. Just select this download vertical for free button and then go ahead and install this plugin. Once you've installed the plugin, make sure you restart OBS Studio and then you should see the docs pop up right away. Now, if you don't see them, head over to the docs tab and if you go down, you should be able to see vertical scenes, sources, scene transitions, and the vertical canvas itself. Make sure you check off all of those docs and you should see your setup looking like mine now. Next, I'm just gonna quickly put together my vertical gameplay scene. And now that we have our vertical canvas set up, we can go over to our canvas settings, then go over to the streaming tab. And this is where we're gonna need to put in the server and stream key. And if you need those things, you guys are in luck. So in order to get those two things, you're first gonna need to download the Streamlabs TikTok Stream Key Generator from this GitHub page by Lucius. I left a link in the description below so that you can go ahead and download this for yourself. You're gonna wanna go to the area where it says releases, select that, and then the next page you'll be brought to are the download files. Now, depending on the system that you're using, what you download here will vary. So for example, if you're on a Windows computer, you're gonna to wanna to download the Streamlabs TikTok Stream Key Generator release when 2.0.5. If you're using a silicon-based Mac, you're gonna to wanna to get the ARM64 Mac OS version. If you're on Linux, you're gonna to wanna to get the Linux version. If you're on a Mac using an Intel-based chip, you're gonna to wanna to get the x86 Mac OS version. Once you download those files, go ahead and unzip it and then go ahead and find the executable file within the folder. Launch this, go ahead and run it. It is completely safe, and you should see the stream key generator window open in front of you. Now, with the latest version of this tool, you have essentially two different ways that you can authenticate your channel via the token loader. The easiest way would be just to load from the web, but I have not been able to successfully get it to work. You guys can let me know if you have had different experiences testing this out, but this one was a no-go for me. So the other way to load a token is from your PC. How do you do that? Well, you're gonna need to download Streamlabs Desktop. I put a link for this also in the description below. Once you have Streamlabs Desktop installed, you're then gonna wanna go to your settings, go to stream, and this is where you can link your TikTok account. And after you've successfully linked it, go ahead and pretend like you're about to start a stream, select TikTok as the destination, and then you should see a link to where you can actually sign up and get approval to stream on TikTok. And you do not need a thousand followers or whatever to be able to do that. Just go ahead and complete the form, submit it to TikTok. And typically I've seen within the hour, you should have approval to be able to stream to TikTok. Once you have that all set up, head back over to the Streamlabs TikTok Stream Key Generator tool. And then within the token loader section, you can load from this PC. When you do that, your token's gonna be loaded up here. Your account information is gonna be loaded, showing your username, your status, and if you can go live, and that should equal true. If it doesn't say those things, then you haven't been approved yet. Next up, I can set a stream title, and then we can head over to the stream control section, and to get the stream URL and stream key, we're going to need to select go live. And when we do that, the stream would have successfully started, but obviously it's a black screen or not showing anything for your viewers right now. So you're gonna wanna go ahead 
and copy the stream URL, jump back into OBS, go to your vertical canvas settings, make sure you're in the streaming tab. And then for the server, we're gonna wanna paste in that URL, go back over to the key generator. And here is our stream key. We're gonna wanna copy that key. Okay, back in OBS studio, here's our key. We're gonna paste that in, control V. And that's really it. If I want, I can scroll down here to the advanced section and set a specific encoder and a bit rate for the stream, but otherwise we're good to go. We can select okay. And then we're just gonna wanna set the vertical canvas to be live. So just select the green live icon right here, and that will push our stream to TikTok. If you're not using the vertical plugin and you're using the basic OBS features to set up your stream, go to your settings, then to the stream tab and set your service to custom. And below that is where you can add in your TikTok URL and key from the generator tool. Once that's set, select okay, and then select the start streaming button to go live. To prove that this all works right now you can see that I'm playing Marvel Rivals live on TikTok and everything is working as it's supposed to. Once you are all finished with your live stream, to end it, you will need to go to your vertical canvas here, select that live stream button to end the live stream from OBS, and then you're gonna need to go back to the stream key generator tool and end your live stream there as well, and that will close off your stream. Now, as some of you may know, in order to truly succeed in the live streaming space, you're gonna need to clip content from those live streams in order to attract new viewers to watch you while you're live. So a great tool that you guys can use is Nexus Clips. With this tool, you can upload your own clip content or you can have it discover the most highlight worthy moments from your streams using the power of AI. From there, you can use their built-in video editor where you can add things such as subtitles to make your shorts more dynamic. And then you can easily download it or upload it directly to YouTube and TikTok. If you guys would like to check out our sponsor, Nexus Clips, you guys can use the link in the description below and use code MIDNIGHT for 10% off. Now, there's one more thing I have to show to you guys regarding this setup, and that's a merge chat. And you can accomplish this using the application Social Stream Ninja. Once you have the application launched, you can use this tool to add in each and every page that you stream to. So it could be your YouTube page, Twitch, and of course, your TikTok account. Make sure that all the sources are active. And if we go over to the right-hand side, we're gonna copy the link to this streaming chat doc. And then back in OBS, we're gonna wanna go to our docs, go to custom browser docs, we can give this a name, stream chat, and then we're gonna paste in that URL, control V, right click, paste, whatever you wanna do there, apply. It's gonna open up a separate chat window. You can put it wherever you'd like. I'll just throw it here on the left-hand side. Now when someone chats on any of your streaming sources, they're gonna pop up here so that you can see them in a centralized location. Very cool very handy but that's gonna do it for today's video thank you so much for staying to the very end if you enjoyed it make sure you hit the thumbs up button subscribe if you are new around here if you have any questions whatsoever please leave it in the form of a comment down below and watch this video next if you want to learn 10 amazing tips about how to use obs studio i'll see you there peace